Hello and welcome. You're listening to the first podcast of the University of Queensland's Astrophysics Group. Be sure to check back as often as you can for up-to-the-minute astronomical news and research happening both within the group here at UQ and abroad. For more information, visit our website at smp.uq.edu.au or send us an email to astrogroup at uq.edu.au. Today, we're very happy to have UQ's Dr. Senior Remus Sorensen, who is undertaking some cutting-edge research involving measuring the neutrino mass from a galaxy survey being carried out in part by other researchers here at UQ. So without further ado, let's hear from Senior. Neutrinos are the lightest particles in the uh, standard model of particle physics. And they're actually so light that we haven't measured their mass in laboratory experiments yet. There are three types of neutrinos, the electron neutrino, the muon neutrino, and the tau neutrino. And what we have measured in laboratories are the mass differences between those different types. So we're pretty convinced that neutrinos have mass. And if the neutrinos have mass, the way structures such as galaxies form in the early universe will be affected by the neutrinos. So by looking at the way galaxies um, are um, positioned in the sky today, we can actually extract information about the neutrino mass. And how do we do that? Well, my job is to look at this huge three-dimensional galaxy map called Wiggles. It contains the positions of approximately 250,000 galaxies, uh, of which the most distant are about 20, mil 20 billion light years from Earth. Um, and from this huge uh, three-dimensional galaxy map, we can extract something called a power spectrum. And it looks approximately like this. It, it basically just measures the number of galaxies with a certain relative distance. So here we have power, so number of galaxies. And it's usually plotted as a function of k, which is not this distance, but the inverse distance. So here we will have large scales, so huge distances. And here we will have small scales. And then the power spectrum looks something like this. And what happens is if the neutrinos have a very small mass, so of course they're light, so they have very small masses, but very, very small mass, then they will, uh, in the early universe, their um, speed will be very high. So they will move over huge distances and they will affect a huge range of scales. But they, since they have only have a very little mass, they will only affect, them, only affect the, the star information very little. So we'll have something that looks like this. On the other hand, if the neutrinos have a relatively large mass compared to what's possible, then they will move slower. So they will affect only the small scales, but they will affect them a lot more because they have a lot more mass to push with. So we'll have something that looks like this. Um, and my job is simply to look at real galaxies and see if we can detect this difference. 